Don't forget to wear your headphones. Hey, 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 my dear. <laughs> You've been dozing off for a while now. For just a bit. <laughs> You may be wondering why can't you see and why were you asleep for a while? That's all me. <laughs> That's the answer. I made it so. I blinded you with a blindfold. And I may or may not have helped you fall asleep unnaturally. Maybe through one injection. Maybe through a respiratory measure, maybe through a blunt hit. A loving tap, of course, just a love tap. <laughs> Who knows, really? Just try to reach your head, the back of it, for any signs of blood. Maybe try to reach and see ink salmon touch it. Your arms for any sign of injection, so try to breathe in deeply. See if your lungs hurt. <laughs> but don't worry. I will not and never will give you any horse dewormer paste. That's too far. That's what dumb people do. And I am not dumb and neither are you, so... Neither of us deserve it. <laughs> now let's see, my darling, why I brought you here to my private, personal, and very personalized examination night. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that you're safe, my dear. My darling. After all that's happened, you are never too careful. You never are too cautious. You never have enough preemptive measures. If the vaccine has taught us anything, it's that we need countermeasures. And you, you concerned me so much last night. So much so that I had to hastily plan something on the way here. <laughs> I had to rush things more than I wanted to. But as I said, you gave me no choice. You were kind of sick, or so I thought. Now that I examined you, however, I see that your heartbeat is fine, that you're... Temperature is normal, even though you are hot, smoking hot. You have not been sweating more than usual, I don't think. And you smell just... Fine. <laughs> hmm. But now that I have you here... I am not going to waste my time. I'm not going to waste my chance. I'm not throwing away my shot. Especially when there needs to be two doses in most of them. If you don't get it, that's fine anyway. Imagine that I explained everything very carefully already. So we can skip the introductions. So we can skip the small talk and get to it. Something that you and I both want. And that is to get this over with. <laughs> Even though you and I may have different concepts of how that would look. How that would end up being. But not to worry, my darling. <laughs> I will make sure to take care of you. The ones you love. Like myself. <laughs> uh, let me sit and 
tell you this more comfortably. I, for a while now, have been infatuated by you, have been in love with you. I fell for you. And isn't love such a wonderful thing? Something that helps me overcome problems that I never thought it would be possible to. With solutions so crazy that a normal person would say no to the thoughts in their heads, to the voices that tell him to them home with you to be better that way. Have you never experienced those whispers? That call to action? No. Oh. Then I am sorry to announce that maybe you have never really fell in love with anyone. Have you fallen in love before? Huh? No, no. Wait. Don't answer that. I don't want to ruin the moment by thinking about all your previous suitors. Your previous lovers. No. Because, you see, I am the only one that matters now. I am the only one that will be here for you forever. And I'll be here with you always from now on you are mine to care for mine to nourish mine completely <laughs> <laughs> and I am the only one who will now feel your heartbeat at night who will get their ear against your chest and touch your heartbeat and feel it and feel your warmth of your forehead, of your neck and feel the shivers down your spine and the trembling hands of yours and your feet so soft and tired I will solve all that for you you're fine you're fine you will be fine as long as you're with me and that's all that matters really I'll take care of you Nobody else will take care of you like I am. Like I will. <laughs> and that's why I have to take care of you myself. That's why I can't allow anyone else to be in contact with you. Aside from my... Self. <laughs> I'm sorry I get too exalted when I say this, but... I love you so much, my dear, my darling, my favorite patient. <sighs> I can't bear the thought of having you go away, so I'll just keep you to myself from now on. Make sure that you're fully taken care of, fully vaccinated, and without eating any horse paste. I swear it. That's my oath. More than hypocritical. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's right. I love you, and I can't live without you, and now I won't. I'm gonna have you forever, to myself, forever. <laughs> I love you so much, my dear, my darling. Mm -hmm. <laughs>